we can now actually use these tableaus to reproduce the Lemke-Hausen algorithm, which is a way of traversing the two polytopes, going from one vertex to the next. Now, to go from one vertex to the next simply means making, in one of uh, the tableau, making a, a non-basic variable basic and, and, and vice versa. So I'm just going to demonstrate that with our, our two um, tableau that we have. So we have TR equals 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And this is, this is the start. And I'll use, uh, and, and, and then we have TC equals 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3. One one, and so so in in black I'll just write down that these are labels zero and one, and these are labels two and three. And again, those labels are simply uh, correspond to the non-basic um, variables. So we make an arbitrary decision to uh, drop label zero. Okay, but we could drop label zero, one, two, or or three. So we're gonna what we're, go we're gonna do is we're gonna pivot pivot uh, tr, um, sorry, the, the, the correct right, pivot column zero from tr, okay? Now integer pivoting, and I'm gonna explain what this means, it, it essentially means take take this particular column and it's currently um, a non-basic uh, variable, make it basic. So that means I we need a zero there or a zero there. And so we just need to decide which one of the rows we're gonna pivot on. And we do this using what's called the minimum ratio test. And so what we do for the minimum ratio test is we look at the ratio of the last um, column over over the the first and so in our case we have row one has ratio one over one and row one and row two has ratio one over three so the minimum ratio is the second row so we're going to pivot on row two now, all that simply means is that row two will essentially remain the same. And we're gonna end up with a, with a zero here. Now, the way we get the, the other variables is we do what's called integer pivoting. So at a, we're, we're gonna keep everything as um, an integer. And the way we do this is that we're gonna multiply the first row by three so that we, we'll have a three here, and then we subtract the second row from it. So that gives us zero. Um, three times three is nine, minus one is eight. We then just have one times three is three minus zero, so that's still three. Here we have minus one, because three times zero minus one is minus one. And then here we have three times one minus one is two. Okay, and now the, the labels uh, we now have are one and three. Uh, three is the new one we picked up, so we need to um, pivot column three, um, the fourth column, on TC. So uh, pivot three from TC. The ratios, it's gone from our screen a little bit. Let me just get that back in. So the ratio for um, the first row is 1 over 1, and for the second one is 1 over 3. So that's just comparing that and that. So I, I'm going to pivot on row 2. And so we're just going to do the same thing. So we're going to have TC. Uh, actually, let me let me do it over on this side so it's a bit clearer. TC equals, and so we're putting on the second row, so the second row is going to remain the same, 0, 1, 1, 3, 1. 
And we're pivoting um, the uh, column corresponding to label 3, so uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So here we're going to have a, a 0. And now what we're just going to do, we're going to multiply the first row by 3 and take away the second row from it. So we're going to get 3 minus 1, 8, 0, and 2. And so our labels are now um, 1 and 2. Okay, so again, we, we can check. Do we have a fully labeled vertex pair? No, at the moment we have 1, 2, and 3 as our labels. But we have um, just picked up 1. So we need to pivot 1 from TR. We look at the ratios. And so now I'm just looking at 2 over 8, which is 1 quarter, and 1 over 1. So I'm going to pivot um, on row 1, pivot on row 1. And this will give me TR equals 0, 8, 3, minus 1, and 2, because that, that's not going to change. And so I multiply the second row by 8 and take the first row away from it. So I get 24, 0, minus 3, 9, and 6. And now my, my, my variables are um, 2. My labels are 2 and 3. So now I'm going to need to pivot uh, 2 from TC. Pivot 2 from TC. So my ratios are, are essentially the, the same. A quarter and 1 over 1. So comparing those things um, there. So I pivot on row 1. Let me keep it in shot there. And so I get that TC, and this is essentially just, just going to be the same. I'm pivoting on row 1, so row 1 stays the same. 3, minus 1, 8, 0, 2. I'm going to multiply um, that second row by, by 8, and I get minus 3, 9, 0, 24, and 6. And now if I, if I look at uh, this, my... Uh, my, ver my labels are 0 and 1. These are the um, the, the non-basic variables. And so I have a fully labeled vertex pair. So the algorithm uh, stops. I should be checking that every time. The algorithm stops. And now I just need to read the vertex out of this uh, pair of, of Tableau. And um, I, I, I do that by setting the um, the non-basic variables to be zero. And remember that's these are these are here slack variables. And so this tableau corresponds to zero plus eight zero x let me sorry that got a bit messy. Zero x one plus eight x two equals two. That 2 is that 2, this 8 is this 8, this 0 is this 0, um, and 24x1 plus 0x2 equals 6. Um, and the whole point of what we've done is we've made these uh, straightforward to solve. This simply gives us that x1 and x2 is equal to a quarter, a quarter, our old front, a quarter, a quarter. And similarly, we have that 8y1, because remember, this is now s1, s2, y1, y2. So 8y1 uh, plus 0y2 is equal to 2, and 0y1 plus 24y2 is equal to 6. So y1, y2, is equal to a quarter, a 
a quarter. And then the final step is uh, normalize. And we get that the Nash equilibria is equal to um, a half, a half, and a half, a half. Okay? And that is, in essence, the uh, lemke hausen algorithm. Uh, the steps are to identify labels to remove, uh, to, to drop, pardon me, which correspond to columns, and we just need to check the minimum ratio test, which compares the last column to whichever column we're considering, um, to just identify which row does not change. In this particular example, because the game is symmetric, the, the two tableaus are actually the same all the way through, but as you'll see when you do uh, various other examples, that's not necessarily always the case. And it's also, also not necessarily always um, the case that uh, you that your um, non-basic variables at the end will all be the actual vertices, uh, the actual variables of vertices.